In the Strictly Come Dancing finale, we saw some incredible performances with Hamza and Yuita taking the Glitter Ball trophy home. Joining us to talk all things Strictly finale, we're going to be joined by Jeanette Munrara. Hi, Jeanette. Welcome to the finale of our Strictly Insider. How are you? Good. Hello. What a what a final, though. <laughs> I know. I mean, first things first, tell us what you thought about it. It was so nice, first and foremost, to have four contestants again in the final because um, last year, obviously, we only had Rose and John. Uh, so it was nice that this year we were back to seeing four amazing show dances, four judges picks, four couples favorites. You know, you felt like you had just like a plethora of phenomenal entertainment the whole night on the show. So I love the fact that they were all able to get into that final and, and dance on the night. But um, the level of dancing in this series is just second to none. I've not seen such high, high, high quality dancing on Strictly in, I mean, I don't think ever. And every single couple was there. It, it wasn't like any weakest link, quote unquote, on the night. Everybody was just amazing. So as a dancer myself, I was living the dream, you know, being able to watch that on telly on, a, on Saturday night TV, you know, it was amazing. Uh, you really couldn't have called. Like it, it seems like every single one of them could have taken the Glitter Ball trophy and deserved it. Yeah, I feel like, Molly, if she would have won, it would have been such a beautiful ending to that like survivor story. Same for Fleur, you know, survived four dance offs, including a semi final, which is always one of the scariest ones to <laughs> to survive. And then, again, if she would have won, you know, I know she would have made her dad really proud because it meant a lot to her family. Um, you know, Hamza, obviously our actual winner, very worthy winner, 17 tens, five times topping the leaderboard. And then Helen, I mean, her journey and her confidence and how much she grew as a human being and, and Gorka also having been in the final two times before would have been as well just as good of a winner. So I wouldn't, I'm glad I'm not allowed to have a favorite because <laughs> I think it would have been really tough for me to pick one person to vote for because they were all amazing, really. And obviously for the finale, it was the three first time Strictly dancers, like Gorka aside, were the ones that made it a finale. Why do you think that is? Do you know what? Fresh blood, you know? I think, you know, I think they come, all of them come kind of from directly that, that big competitive dance world, which competition is is intense. And they just came from that. So they're all fresh in their minds with that world of training and teaching and dancing and competing and sweating and sore muscles. And so I think, you know, fresh blood just keeps you, they're eager beavers. They want to impress. Um, and it's a different world on Strictly. And I think they definitely, you know, from what I've heard from our chats myself with, with all of them, there's a lot to learn still. I mean, the TV world and showbiz is very, very different from the world of the competitive world. But in saying that, because they're such phenomenal competitors, that's why I think they were fighting so hard in this competition and got as, as far as he did. But in saying that, you know, every single professional on this show is equally just as good as the other. Sometimes you just have amazing partnerships that just click and do beautifully well together. The partnerships really were amazing. You could just see that each of them had this like this bond. But I think especially Helen and Gorka, like you touched on how her confidence grew through the series. Yeah. And I think Gorka had a, was a huge part of that. Yeah, I think because again, this is the difference between a seasoned pro and someone that might be coming in on year one, you know, as a seasoned professional, you can take someone like Helen to the final because she came in with a lack of confidence, a nerves, didn't really know who, what this whole thing was going to be like for her and her family. And so Gorka being the ultimate professional and being there before and having all the experience, he knew how to guide her. He knew how to really turn someone that had never danced before into a beautiful dancer and not just a beautiful dancer, but a beautiful human being who's now full of confidence, really believes in herself and kind of found this space of like, do you know what? I'm Helen and I'm here and I'm proud and I feel good for who I am. And Gorka, you know, we spoke to him, Aliash and I called him immediately yesterday. We gave him a day to be with his family, but we FaceTimed him and both of us said, you know what, Gorka, like you are hats off one of the most ultimate professionals on that show to create the magic that he created with Helen and to help her have the journey that she had. Yeah, I mean, we, we were saying, with uh, but me and Matt before the conversation that he did look crushed like he looks so disappointed yeah. how, how how is he doing do you know he's good I can I think he really missed his little girl Mia and being home with Gemma so he's 
I'm sure he's happy to be back home with her and, and Gemma. And obviously gutted, you know, you want to win. Everybody wants to win. He's, but in, made, the, he's made the final so many times. I, like, oh. I think ultimately, you know, as any pro that's on Strictly, the, the main thing is to make sure that your celebrity grew and enjoyed themselves and you got them as far as you possibly could. And I think, you know, Helen and Gorka walked out of there with their heads held high because they were in that final. They smashed the final. They had an amazing show dance. She closed the show with that minor couple's choice dance, which I think will go down in strictly history. I think there was the talk that he looked a bit, that Gorka did look a bit disappointed. Do you think it was more sort of for Helen not winning? So obviously given the year that she's had... I mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess that's a question to ask Gorka because I don't really know what was going through his mind at that time. But as a viewer, you know, I mean, I think Helen Whitting would have been beautiful for Helen and Gorka equally because, as I said, she had such a journey and Gorka has uh, has been there in the past. So I'm sure the two of them would have loved to lift the glitter bar, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, as you say, though, some very worthy winner, like the, like Hamza, very oh, worthy gosh, winner. Oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, I mean, is he really in real life? I mean, I, I already know your answer to this, but as wonderful <laughs> as he appears on screen. Do you know, I, I, again, I, I, I spent, spent time with him a little bit backstage and they came on in Takes Two and we spoke loads on It Takes Two when they were on the show. And every single time that I encountered Hamza, he was just an absolute dream. Just the loveliest man. I think kind of still in shock that, you know, he was doing as well as he was doing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, my encounters with him were always incredible. He was such a nice guy. Yeah. You've been in that final before. What is that pressure like with all the dancers? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I think for me, the final probably was slightly different than anybody else because it was my eighth year on Strictly. You know, I'd never been in the final before. And Harvey and I were just such good mates and I loved dancing with him. We were just literally like a bit like, dare I say, Hamza and Yovita in that way, like the talent that Harvey brought. He never danced before, but talent, the talent that Harvey had was just incredible, you know. And so for me, being in the final, I didn't feel those kind of nerves. I felt this sense of absolute joy to just finally be there after so many years <laughs> and with someone that I can really dance with and really go for it as a professional. And so I, I didn't feel nerves. I was more like an excitable bunny. You know, I couldn't wait to dance my next dance that night. And Harvey was the same. We were both just buzzing to be in that final and obviously that th we've had some spectacular finales so how do you think this one compares do you know what i think again just the level and quality of dancing that we got this year i i don't think we've ever seen before in the past and we say it every year we say strictly just gets better and better and they push and they push and the boundaries are like extended and how far can we go again and in this final, I, I just, again, it, it just took that took the show to the next level. How could we beat last year's final? And I feel like we did in so many ways again. So already we're done with Strictly. I can't believe it's done. I'm going to have like this hole in my heart for a while now. But I feel like I'm already excited to see what's going to happen in 2023. Because if that's what we got in 2022, wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was about to ask you, do you have any ideas of celebrities or anything? Like anyone that's like, okay, this person should be in it next oh, time. Oh, God. I don't know. I mean, they always do such a good job. We have, I mean, the Strictly Live Tour is coming up. That's going to be my next my next job now in January, February. So it'll be really nice to be with the finalists in there. And, you know, um, I think Hamza's doing it for sure. So Hamza's going to be oh. our champion going on tour. And then we've got Ellie and Tyler and Will who were amazing throughout the series as well. So they're going to be there too. So it'll be nice to kind of extend the 2022 journey a little bit into January, February. Uh, but then when it comes to next year's celebs, I don't know. I mean, they literally keep us out of the loop. You know, it's always just as much as a surprise for us as it is for anybody else. I mean, imagine if Ali Ash came back as a celeb. <laughs> that would be hilarious. You, you would Does win it. <laughs> I don't think it could happen, but it'd be hilarious. If you, if you miss his dancing, so... Oh, he needs to go back. Go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can go back. <laughs> <laughs> and am I right in uh, thinking that you're going to be a judge for the Strictly Tour, Jeanette? No, no, I'm hosting the Strictly Live Tour. Oh, hosting. Oh, yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like oh, Tess, Claudia, and Rylan all in one on the live tour. <laughs> 
That's great. Yeah. Do you think you could ever see yourself as a judge on Strictly in the future? Do you know what? Never say never. If, I mean, I think I'm a really nice person, so I, we, I'd find it tough to be super harsh or critical on anybody. I'd probably be everybody's biggest cheerleader and always give them a compliment of how wonderful they did on the show. So never, never say never. You never know, Matt. Thank you so much for tuning in to our finale chat of the Strictly Insider. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to hellomagazine.com for more news on Strictly. Bye.